Hello and welcome back. So I'll be covering this uh, fairly large canvas today. It didn't come out the way I wanted at all, so I'm trying to fiddle with it. Stretched it to the max, but not nice. So it's dry again. So I can now pour over it. So let me show you the colours that I have. I have some um, X4 in yellowish green, and that's from Specialist Crafts here in the UK. I'm using some Deco Art Satin Namor in um, dark denim. I have some Deco Art 24K gold in the Extreme Sheen. I also have in the Extreme Sheen this one, which is a sky blue topaz and the sapphire. I also have some Pibio and that's the violet blue iridescent one. My white is um, titanium white by Montmartre and I mixed all my colours today with American Floetrol. Okay so I will start layering and then I'll move my canvas so you can see a little bit better. So the white I mixed it about three parts Floetrol to one part white i did not actually wear anything today i just went by eye and playing with the consistencies to get similar consistencies but roughly the deco arts are one to one one part floetrol one part um, paint the satin enamel i just did some floetrol and pure satin enamel so i didn't um actually mix it with an acrylic paint so I hope it will come out okay I've been looking at contrast today so I want to have some bright colors next to darker ones we'll see we'll see what comes out so I'm just going to layer so there's more of the white let's go with a bit of pink my layers are quite small to start with and then get thicker obviously what you put in first comes out last so always be wary of this darker blue so that's a sapphire bit of gold bit of white bit more gold Enamel. green, white, bit of pink, sapphire, little pause. So you can see, I'm actually putting more paint in each layer now so the consistencies look nice and equal I don't have any paint sinking Fingers crossed it stays that way. Oh, something fell there. A little mixed paint. I'll catch it when I stretch. Pull one. So I'm really randomly and not randomly, sorry, <clears throat> um, layering my cup. It's just colours next to one another that would look nice, but I'm trying to keep that contrast alternating. Oh, let me just finish that one. There's only a tiny bit left. I might as well. That sapphire blue is lovely. Always comes out really nice when it dries. It's really, really shimmery. Okay. So, the sapphire gone. 
Uh, and gold. And move it aside. And I'll finish with the satin amor, the dark one. My cup is really, really full now. It's a good thing. So it's a 500 ml cup, so. Um, I'm trying to think in ounces. I can't. Divide it by 30. My canvas is 70 by 50 centimeters. So that is quite a big one as well. So I'm just going to move those away. Move the canvas a little bit. So hopefully. It's now nicely in the frame. Yes, it is. I'm just going to move my cup. A tiny puddle here. Stretch it a bit. Then I will add a tiny bit of water to make that wide slightly thinner so I can use it as a flow enhancer. I do not want to use any mix with PVA glue as a pouring medium and flow draw in the same pour because they don't really like one another. So I'm just adding a bit of water cup to make it slightly more fluid and I'll be able to use it. So I'm just stirring in some water just to make sure that the layered colours in my main cup slide quite easily over yes it's definitely thinner quite over um, the white so so lovely layers hopefully you can see them so let's do this let's just be careful to drop anything there we go all right let's do this This is the bottom of my layer cup. So be careful. But my centre is quite nice. I need to catch the trick. Here we go. Look at these. A lot of effect so far, but let's give a second for the paint to rest, do its thing, then I will torch to remove any uh, bubbles. So I just mix my paints. And I don't want to waste any of that expensive paints and expensive pouring medium so okay let's have a quick look there's a few air bubbles so I'm just gonna get my torch Few 
lovely effects there. I do like this. I do like that ombre kind of effect there as well. So fingers crossed it works well. So let's put some white to help the paint flow over to the edges. These are, of course, my safe go to colors, um, the ones that I usually like using. I've been experimenting with um, different color combinations, but I'll show you that on um, my next video. So it looks like it's set all quite nicely. Quite a few pebbles happening there, so let's try to stretch it a little bit. Let's move these out of the way. Okay, let me sniff it in. At the moment, I'm just going to go around to try to keep the general effect. majority of the navy blue, so the dark denim satin armor has disappeared. I mean, I've got a little bit on the outside, but that will be tipped over, unfortunately. So next time I will need to add it to phthalo blue or make my own navy corner and then try to make sure and another thing the gold was layered next to the green and it's giving me that sort of it's neither gold nor green and i'm really i'm not sure about these colors but you've got to try these things let me torch again a little bit. Any air pressure? Okay. Let's carry on stretching. Over this corner. And then I'll come back. I think I will need to use maybe some of the green I've got left, you know, to cover more of the canvas towards the the edges so that the paint kind of reach all the way out to the edges. So I don't think I've got enough paint on the canvas at the moment. Let's try to stretch. Let's bring it over the edge if we can there. Yes. And let's go towards there. Let's bring it back towards 
got some meat. And I'm going to drop it, so I've got to be careful. Apologies if you are not able to see this, but let me just turn it around. So let me use some of that green. something in the paint there I'm going to have to pick with tweezers or something let me get the tweezers wipe my hands just for a second just some a couple of um, maybe a mixed paints. Okay, a magic box. Okay, we have something. Here we go. There. And I've lost the second one. Where were you? I did see you as I was stretching. Cannot see it now, so I'm going to put my tweezers down and try to stretch again. Put over this corner, that corner. back over the edge okay let's have a quick look there just make sure all the corners are covered really like the Jared effect, but be careful, don't drip all the way here. That is a lovely, lovely effect. And it's due to all the thin layers that I added. I'm not that keen on the centre. I don't know if I can try to kind of bring it further down over there. Let's see if I've got enough paint. Let's move this across. Bring it back. That opened it up quite a lot, so I do prefer it that way. Checking the edges. Never go over the canvas because you will drip. I don't want to touch it um, anymore. Let me just bring you closer. Just kind of a good look. Let's see. Okay, so that's the the part that I really really like. So 
nice kind of chowed effects. That is really, really pretty. The layers were very thin. So that created this. And then you've got this sort of islands or right in the middle. It's not one most keen on, but you know, you've got to give it a a try and you cannot be 100% happy all the time so but I really do like this I think that looks really really nice so I hope you enjoyed it um please do like and subscribe and hit the bell so you get um, a notification every time I put a new video and I'll see you all very soon thank you very much for watching and bye for now